said thanks but no thanks because that is ridiculously low. You've seen his video, he talks about how basically he's got the worst job offer ever. When I was 19, I thought I was getting a great job offer. I was going into this job in Florida, Orlando, for $15 an hour. Had an interview and everything, got set up, and I was heading my way. I had a big smile on my face because 15 was really good. I originally came from East Texas. $15 an hour is a big deal. Show up. I'm younger than I look. They didn't ask me my age on the phone or email or nothing. Now the interview's going. Everything's good. He said, we can hire you. Let's talk pay. Said, well, since you're a little bit younger, we can't offer you 15. We can do 10. I was like, 10? It says 15 on your ad. He's like, yeah, but since you're younger... We can't do that. I was like, okay, well, can you do any more? He's like, well, no, we can't do any more because we got to save that money for the families, people like that. You're just a kid living on your own, blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, actually, I'm married. He's like, oh, you're married. Now I hit him with that one. So he's like, okay, well, I guess we can do 12. Married at 19, $12 an hour. Okay, that's manageable. I was like, how can I get up to 15 then? Well, if you get a truck, we can pay you 15 because then that way we can use your truck. You can haul stuff to the job sites and things like that. Understandable. I have a car at the time, though. Okay, I'll save up for a truck. Months go by, and I finally have enough money to put a down payment on a truck. I'm living on my own, well, with my wife. I'm the only one working at the time. And have, have finally enough to purchase a truck, but I have to finance it. So I get the cheapest one, $6,000. 26% interest, put $1,000 down. It's expensive living in Florida at 19. I was saving every penny. It was a luxury to eat pizza. Now I show up in my truck to the job. Mr. Boss Man is shocked because I bought a truck. Now I talk to him, I say, hey, can we talk about getting a raise? It's been three months and I also have a truck. He's like, sure, come to my office by the end of the day, we'll talk. Day goes by, go to his office, and we're talking. Things are going good. So he's like, I'm actually surprised that you stuck around this long. You've been doing good work. You saved up. I was even more surprised that you saved up to buy a dang truck. Most of the time, people just do whatever they want with their money, and they actually don't try. All this good stuff. My heart's pounding because I'm like, oh, I'm about to get a raise. I could possibly get more. Raises me to $13. $13? dollar raise i got 26 percent interest on the truck my fault yes but a dollar so i said i thought you told me i could get 15 once i got a truck he's like well i did but we can't do that and then i was like oh okay so i stayed a week and then quit and i found a job that paid me 16 dollars an hour which was better dollar higher than 15 then I moved back to Texas and got an electrician job, apprentice. I did slide electrical at that last job, so I wasn't a complete green hand. I had general knowledge of a lot of stuff, but their starting pay in East Texas for electricians, apprentice electricians, is $7.25. Good gracious. Can I at least get eight? He said, sure, we could do eight, but just barely. Just barely got eight because. I was recommended by someone that he knew, and he said, since I respect him a lot, I can I can manage eight. Oh, thank you for 75 cents, because your respect of 75 cents is a great deal for me. I can't complain too much, but I understand that trying to get a job, trying to work for people, trying to survive is a crazy thing, and it's a lot harder in the construction field because like when it comes to money, it is one of the most ridiculous things to go through. Switched over to the tech side of stuff now and it's completely different. Calmer, easier, I'm not gonna lie. It's, I would even go as far as saying, I sometimes feel like I don't do enough and I work 10 hours days in the tech side and sometimes 12, you know, I'm still doing 612 sometimes. But the physical demand in this field is not nearly what it is in the construction blue collar field. Yet, the pay is so much worse, so much harder to get, so much harder to live on, that it's just crazy to me to think that people aren't willing to pay good workers a decent pay to live. And then they go and complain that they don't have good workers. 
And I've also been on the side of doing bids for people, so I know how much they're making. It's not like they can't afford it. Because in the construction field, you do get decent amount of money. It's where they're getting picky at is, what if I accidentally mess up one month and I don't have enough money to cover people? I get that, but still, if you had people that did good jobs, there wouldn't be as many mess ups. Anyways, all that to say, I'm glad I got out of the construction field.